Hey guys, you join me here at Snowman 86 and we are back on Dunalka. So we are just harvesting the canola. As you can see on my left hand side we have a... Oh, I can't turn left on that button. Um, we have a good chunk of it harvested already. So we're working our way through the field. And I just said we jump in here, get a little bit of the action and um, see how we're getting on. Now, yes, my window is empty. I probably should have watched it before we start recording. But we're just going to keep cracking on here, guys. And um, we can see in our yield monitor on the bottom right corner, we are currently around seven tons per hectare, which is a good yield. Um, I've seen it as high as 8.5, 8.6. I've also seen it as low as 4.6 or 7. So we've had it hit and miss. I think it's the lime is the factor really for us, guys. Um, I do think that is a big deciding factor here in what we're able to churn out. So we'll definitely have to address that in the winter coming. Um, and I'm not sure if this field actually due a plow as well. So if it is, we probably will end plowing it and obviously collect stones from that then as well, which will go towards creating the lime again for future fields. So. It's, it seems to be a system so far that's working kind of well for us. Um, now there is a sale going on as well in field 72 which is literally across the road from our big field. Um, so that is something that might be of interest to us but um, for now we don't have the finances currently to do that. And we should probably run up here and expand our headland just a little bit. because. As we sit here at the moment, we literally just have the um, pass, and we just have the one pass down here on this side. So we probably will now just run up here and create a slightly bigger turning area for ourselves. That way, we're not hitting any of the bushes. But uh, yeah, so far so good, guys. Harvest is going well without a hitch. Now, after this we will have a break until the beans are ready so it gives us a chance to get stuck back into the grass work as well guys uh, and make sure that we're well stocked up for the winter coming or at least that is the rough plan in my little head and we'll see how that plays out but I think it should work for us and obviously we need to sort out our, um, our fields for next season so depending on what we do, we might we might split this field in half, guys. So it would turn it into two fields, and that way we could plant two different crops in it. So we'll have to see how that plays out for us. Um, I'm thinking where the kind of tree island in the middle of the field is. Maybe either split it east to west or north to south. I'm not quite been sure yet. Whatever works the best for us. Um, but more crops we can kind of start planting the better we should be especially for the likes of our chickens and stuff we are struggling big time on that count guys so we just got to keep an eye on it and uh, as I say hopefully we can organize something and get ourselves out of the little bit of a mess that we're currently we're not in a mess but we're just buying chicken food and it's not really profitable to be doing that and uh, it'd be much easier if we were able to store it ourselves on the farm and we are full so we are not even going to finish that so we just shut down the header we'll park it here and i gotta go for a run so i'm just going to jump cut that and uh yeah we'll be back we'll be back in a second once we get to that beautiful beast over there in the distance and we finally got there so after a couple of minutes of running across open field or harvested field we finally got there and now we have the long drive to get all the way back around and uh, we'll get this unloaded and we will then park in a reasonable spot which will probably be somewhere along this area here and that should enable us to going forward be able to unload a little bit easier but uh, yeah, each time it just gets, obviously the harvester gets a little bit further away from the tractor and we're doing it by ourselves, we don't really have anyone to call on. But we could call our grandfather, but we don't want to disturb him, he's enjoying his retirement. So, we're just going to crack on and get this done. So, we'll try our best to get the trailer right under the spout, and then we'll switch machines again, uh, unload, and then take this back to the silo. 
can't really see a whole pile there, but I'd see if the zoom were under it here somewhere. So it's gonna stick on the parking brake. And yeah, we're, we're pretty good at that. Can't go that way. We just gotta run around the back of the trailer into our harvester and away we go on the unloading. We can just about see it there. I'm not sure how well that's coming out in the video. But um, yeah, we can just about see it there. Left corner of the door. We're filling away slowly. spot of the trailer and we don't want that well, back we're actually going to fill the trailer there we go we fill the trailer so we'll bring our spout in set ourselves up and uh, we go forward again Very, very hard to see out this beast of a thing. Um, and our header into this again. And we're harvesting again. And yeah, all our monitors are just blocking our view a little bit. But we're going to do our best to get back down here, guys. And uh, we will continue with the harvest. So, not much else going on. Um, our animals are still okay. Uh, our silage should be pretty close to being ready though, so I think we probably could start feeding them a silage mix. But I think we might need to get some minerals from the dealer, so we might need to organize that at some stage as well. But for now, we're not too concerned. They're being fed, and uh, yeah, it's working. We're definitely stepping into the winter, we'll be all guns go on that. So as I say, grass will be coming up after this uh, canola harvest, but for now we're just going to press on guys and we're going to keep harvesting the canola and uh, we'll see what we end up with. So I'll see you in a second. So as you can see guys, it is getting incredibly dark out here. So we're going to aim roughly for where I think the silos are, I think that's them there, yes. So we're just going to pull into the yard here and um, we do need to do a little bit of um, bush hogging there and just get rid of those bushes because to be honest they're just in the way they were fine for the start but we've developed the farm so much that uh, yeah just in the way so we're just going to creep way forward until we're over the pit we will lift up our trailer unload it and i think we'll pull up towards the top yard and call it for the night guys so it's getting kind of dark out there and the dew is starting to fall so we're starting to lose a little bit of yield as well so we don't need any of that good stuff happening to us so that's it guys we'll pull up here we'll call it for the night and uh, we'll pick this up tomorrow So we're early next morning guys and we're down here at the cows and as you can see we're doing okay for food but um, we probably could do with topping it up so I think what we might do is head for the T-Dub, pull it out and um, actually might try and do our first mix of uh, forage. So we'll see how this goes first. So we're just going to pull up to this side of the yard here, I think, and uh, we'll leave it warming away up there, and uh, we'll go for JCB. We have our bale fork on, left it at the correct height, which I know is not the correct height, but yep. So we we'll go for a bale hay first, I suppose, guys to get one off the top layer here but uh, we'll see how this goes for us oh the yard is getting a little bit tight with all the space we have which is interesting didn't think that would happen so soon to us oh don't know why i hit there but it's something 
And yeah, I can't see that bale up there, so we're just going to go for this view. Making this easy on ourselves. So we're deep in concentration, but the first first load is is that gone in? I don't know. Yep, that is half going in, so it's filling away up. You see our blades are turning, and we're turning. To be fair, these silage bales were just planted in the wrong spot. We don't have the right tool to move them, so we're just going to have to make the best of what we have. Oh, we're going to knock a load. Can we get out? We got out. Look at that. Bit of skill. Oh, not so much skill there. Uh, oh, I thought we'd filled it, but uh, nope. No, we hadn't. So, what's worrying is... Are they silage? Yes, they are grass silage. Why that didn't register in my little mixer, I don't know. Move in here and... Turn that on. And... Um, hmm going up that that bill never registered so I'm not sure what went wrong there we we'll go for straw bill and we'll see how that goes yeah that bill isn't doing much hmm must we take the wrap off it we'll say cut open bail maybe maybe don't try this at home kids And um, yeah, we'll try our look again. I love this trial and error. Now we're just where we know what we're doing. Not going to take it this time. Doesn't seem to want to take it. sure what's going on there so we're just going to throw the silage bale here to the side short crumb guys this is straw bale i don't know why that bale is working we'll go for this top one here now it shouldn't take a full silage bale, and look at the size of the silage bale, 9,000 litres. So we're just going to chuck in roughly 1,000 litres. Hopefully that works. It has, that one has worked, so that's good. Bail back on top if we can, and this is taking a lot longer than I even thought it would. So, just gently place that there, and this little JCB oh, doesn't seem to have four wheel drive, which is not a good thing. And there we go, we're off it. Now we'll try once more silage, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure why that ain't working. Registering it as grass silage, but it doesn't seem to want to. Does it need to be full crop silage or something? We're gonna have to look into this again, I think. Um, yeah, 
that just ain't taking it. Right, we drop this bale down, pull off the forks. Right. Let me investigate. Have we any other options we get here? Gentles, no, no, no. Hmm. Don't want a chainsaw. Don't need a horse plate. I don't know why that ain't coming up. Um, let's bring this up to the tires there. The red, we can read this. So it's saying whole crop silage, and we have grass silage, so that's not good. And that's on the standard recipe. I wonder if we change for him. So if we hit Y, we can't hit Y. Hmm. Don't think we can change our recipe now midway through. So yeah. We have the wrong type silage. That's very annoying, guys. But we're just going to have to shut this down short term. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a mess. So what we're just going to do is feed the silage bale to the cows. And we won't stress about it too much more. And we'll get back harvesting. So we got to finish the field that we were working on yesterday. Um, a little bit upsetting that uh, our silage bales ain't going to work. We must figure that one out. I didn't think we'd have that problem. He's telling me they're going to take this. Oh man. Okay, well at least they took that. So we have something and uh, yeah, we'll figure out... We'll have to figure out something in the meantime, guys. Um, it's a little bit confusing. We'll do our research and we will come back to it. And uh, oh, look at that. Left lights on the JCB. Not a clever move either. So we're not having another fantastic start to a day. But she starts. So we're going to get out to the field, guys. Get to our combine and uh, start harvesting more or less straight away. So on that note, guys, I think a little bit of a disappointment. So we're going to call it here in the video on a confused scenario that is myself and uh yeah we'll pick this up again later guys and we'll see can we figure it out so until next time guys i've been snow mini six this has been a dismal showing on my part on Danuka, but uh yeah we'll try and sort it all out for next time guys and we'll be back hopefully fingers crossed with everything working so guys until next time as always thanks very much for watching see you all again take care